channel. In this section, I am going to deal with the novel The Garden Worm by Sachidev Pandey. Sachidev Pandey is an Indian novelist and she is the recipient of Sahitya Academy Award. And when we move on to the novel or the story, The Binding Wine refers to the umbilicus or the physical connect a mother shares with her child. So this is actually the binding wine means or refers. And the protagonist of the novel is Urmila. She is uh, called as Urmi. And she is actually grieving over the death of her one-year-old daughter, Anu. And Urmi's husband, Kishore, is in the merchant navy and uh, he is absent throughout this novel. And Urmi is actually a lecturer and she is, uh, lives with her little son, Karthik, and her mother, Inni, in Bombay. And when the novel begins, Urmi is in conversation with Vana. Vana is one of her childhood friends and she is also her sister-in-law. And uh, Urmi is actually uh, separated from her mother Inni because one day her mother left Urmi home with a maid servant. And uh, when, uh, when her father came, he saw that uh, her daughter is with a maid servant. So this incident made her father to take such a decision that he hand over Urmi to his own mother. So uh, he, uh, Urmi's father uh, said, to, uh, said to his wife that um, never uh, left her daughter with, uh, with the servant of the house uh, because he is a maid. So uh, her mother, um, instead her mother do that uh, when she left home, she um, left her daughter along with uh, with the male servant. So this incident uh, made angry uh, him. Uh, so her father uh, takes such a decision uh, to hand over Urmi to his own mother. And Urmi realizes this incident only at the end of the novel. We can see that only uh, only at the end of the novel she realizes this incident. And Akka is the stepmother of Kishore and Kishore's uh, actually uh, Kishore's mother is died and her original and his original mother is Meera um, and uh, uh, she died when he was just one day old and uh, we can say that Akka's marriage is a loveless one because Akka was brought as a bride only to be a mother to Kishore and uh, she uh, she brought to uh, only as a mother to Kishore and not for uh, a wife to uh, Kishore's father. And Urmi got some letters di and diaries of Meera. One day she got some letters and diaries of Meera and uh, she Urmi realizes that Meera is actually records her intimate feelings in that diary. And Meera's problem is that uh, the obsessive uh, love of her husband and um, we can say that he loves her for himself and he never pauses to think of her wish or will. Um, and we can see that throughout this novel um, or uh, when Urmi uh, look, looks on to the uh, diaries, uh, she, uh, she sees her poem, Meera's poems too. So Meera also wrote poems and her poems are confessional. And she, uh, throughout her poems, uh, Meera says that she wants love uh, and not lust. And love means, um, and she also uh, notes that what is love uh, and what is lust, the difference between love and lust. And she says that love means understanding the other and caring for him, his or her needs. And lust is selfish and it looks for personal satisfaction. And Meera is actually afraid of her husband's lust, lustful love and she is happy when she is with child but she dies uh, soon in childbirth. And uh, this is uh, one part ends here and the another part uh, starts uh, with another incident that uh, one day Urmi came to know about a weight case when she goes to the hospital to meet Vana and Vana is actually a, a medical social worker and uh, the, we can see that the rape victim is Kalpana and Kalpana is the daughter of Shagutai and uh, uh, Shagutai uh, is the mother of uh, Kalpana and Urmi notices that nobody want to accept this case or uh, this rape 
rape case as uh, uh, so uh, nobody wants to accept this uh, case as a rape case and uh, even the police too but Urmi uh, later gives out Kalpana's story to a journalist friend and it is published and throughout this Urmi breaks the silences and manages to get justice for the suffering family and um, we can uh, later see that uh, with the help of the police investigation uh, Kalpana's aunt Sulu realizes that her husband Prabhakar is the culprit and thus uh, the novel ends there. So this is uh, how the story ends and um, we can uh, got uh, two uh, stories here. One is the story of uh, Urmi and her life and another story is Kalpana and her life. So uh, hope all of you understand my class. So thank you.